Hi, I'm Alfred Bundy. Welcome to this special edition of Meet the Leaders here at the New Jersey League of Municipality Convention in Atlantic City. My very special guest is the mayor of the great city of Newark, Mayor Raz Baraka. How you doing, Mayor? I'm awesome, man. How you doing? Fantastic. Good, I know good, you're down good. here talking a lot about community policing. What do you want people to know about what's going on as it relates to community policing? Well, I think we've come a long way in the city of Newark. Obviously, got a long way to go. Uh, we were under consent decree. Uh, uh, in the city of Newark. We are doing tremendous work to try to make sure our relationship with the community is, is changed. Uh, you know, we have got less uh, complaints against the police, significantly uh, less complaints. And we need to talk about what that was. That, that consent decree was just a little bit was saying that they were concerned about the right. behavior of some of our police. Yeah, yeah. Uh, behavior, illegal stops and seizures, uh, you know, things centered around property room, uh, internal affairs, not investigating cases properly. Uh, you know, since then we've stood up our own civilian complaint review board uh, that hears cases outside of just the, the uh, internal affairs. And internal affairs are now actually validating complaints. Uh, before out of one out of hundreds of cases, they they, they validated now uh, with somewhere like seven out of 23 to validate it. So the percentage of that is, is increased, um, you know, we are doing more work with the community from cops and kids to uh, kind of the new community street team and the whole trauma circles that they're doing with residents and police officers together talking about the issues that community have with police and the way police look at community uh, you know and these are actually trust building these are making building people programs. more aware of both sides yeah, but not only that we're, we're doing training like we're training police officers now uh, we write new policies and training them on those policies, new stuff, new uh, use of force policies, uh, new policies uh, around de-escalation, all of those things we're training people on. So it's been extremely helpful uh, in reducing uh, the kind of negative relationship that mm -hmm. we have. In fact, we get more touches with the community based on our data than we did before, and we get less complaints. We're making less arrests, but we're also seeing a reduction in crime. And I understand violent crime is down quite a bit. I mean, you know, uh, this has been uh, really a big success under your leadership. You want to mention that? Sure. We, we still have our issues around violence in the city, uh, but it's, it's down tremendously. I mean, when I first took office there, where about a, a, over 100 murders were happening in a year. Uh, we've cut that in half. So, uh, obviously, it, it, if somebody in your family has been murdered, it doesn't mean anything to you. But you have 50 more people that are alive than were before, it is uh, a tremendous thing. So we want to keep moving in that direction and making sure the relationship between the police and the community uh, is getting better. Let's talk a little bit about economic development. I mean, the city is really booming. I mean, people may not know uh, what's actually going on and how many developers and how many developments are going on in the city of Newark. Share with us. Yeah, we got close to $5 billion worth of development happening in the city now. Uh, is development happening in every ward of the city, in fact. Uh, you know, a lot of people are focused on downtown, a lot of stuff happening there. Mulberry Commons, we're working on building a walking bridge that connects uh, Peter Francisco Park in the East Ward to Mulberry Commons in the Central Ward, sort of like the High Line in New York City. Uh, that's probably one of our, our next projects that we think is going to be major because it it's going to cause all kind of development to take place around that area. Uh, in fact, and with inclusionary zoning and all of the other kind of things we put in place, it helps us to make sure we uh, redistribute the kind of wealth and development around the city, but also make sure there's affordability in these properties that are going up. I know a lot of people are proud, though, to see that one of our homeboys, Sh Shaquille O'Neal, right. right. actually already doing the movie theater. We need to make sure that's clear. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, now, yeah. what did he do recently? He just uh, uh, cut ribbon for a property down there on Rector Street that they developed, beautiful property that... You go anywhere, uh, you know, Hoboken, Jersey City, uh, be packing New York. It, 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 it um, parallels to any of those projects over there. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, glad to have it in Newark. It, it shows uh, the kind of confidence in the economy in the city, uh, and we'll get more projects like that. I was reaching with you and people at Prudential as we talked about, you know, the, the, the disparity as far as the wealth gap. That's right. Uh, and I know you're doing a lot to put people back in the in training and they're doing a lot to get people back to school but talk to us about why that's all important as we try to close this disparity as far as the wealth gap between people of color and the white community well one it's important for equity in this country to make sure that the constitution actually means something to everybody uh and then when you're talking about the kind of growth that's happening in newark you want to make sure that everybody benefits we always talk about 
economic development and equity in terms of affordability and low income. But we don't want to always be the low income and the affordable side of it, right? We want to be able to uh, enjoy the things that, that, that everybody else get opportunity to enjoy, so you have to close that wealth gap. And we're not just talking about people's income, because income is not wealth, it's a tool to get wealth. We're talking about ownership, so mm -hmm. the, the kind of us trying to get people to become homeowners. We've got an incredible program where we're gonna turn Section 8 uh, folks into homeowners, right? We're, we're, we're piling it at, piling it at in, in the city. So we're trying to do a lot around home ownership, around business expansion, business development, startups, cooperatives even. Trying you to actually took to this own. route, you actually took that route yourself to actually to bring back a property. I sure did, man. I, I had an abandoned property uh, that I went on Shear. I purchased it and, uh, you know, invested in it. Now I'm living in it myself. I'm a homeowner uh, for about 10 years now because of property that I, I, I built from that I invested in from, uh, you know, nothing. Okay, we got 30 seconds or so left. Just talk to me briefly. Uh, give us an update on the water situation, which I know has been yeah. turned around. Uh, share with us briefly. Well, we have now replaced uh, over 2,500 lead service lines in the city. They're doing 50 lines a day. Uh, we have about uh, uh, four uh, contractors on the street with a bunch of subcontractors under them. Uh, a lot of local and minority uh, folks are involved in it as well. We're making sure of it. And I would imagine in two years this thing will be done. Okay, two yep. years. And, and a lot of people thought it was going to take a lot longer than that, two yeah, years. Yeah. So, so did we in the beginning, yeah. right? So God is good. We're able to raise the money we need thanks to the, the county's help and uh, be able to pay the debt service through Port Authority's uh, deal that we made. So we should be okay. Uh, I know the first family welcomed the new person. That's right. Like I was yeah, talking yeah, to yeah, you yeah, in the hospital. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Tell us very yeah, briefly uh, who this new person is and uh, how yeah. you how you getting along and they keeping you up. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've just had a, my wife just had a son. Jua Yamache is his name. He uh, is one month old and he's keeping me up all night long. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I don't get up to, to feed him, he's still keeping me up because he's screaming. Well, you know he's helping <laughs> the citizen. He's making sure our mayor's up and ready to and go. Alert. I know that's right. I, that's I right. want to thank yeah. you. Hey, we are here in Atlantic City, the League of Municipality, with the mayor of the great city of Newark, Ras Baraka. I'm Alfred Bundy for Altice USA.